<laughs> Captain Cavendish. Uh, yes, of course, Alex. Private, uh, it's time. Any questions before we begin? No, sir. All righty then. Let's go meet the village. <laughs> West side this morning, then north of the river this afternoon. And next week, Tuesday, east and south, leaving Wednesday morning to clean up any loose ends. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Identify the need. Match the need to the resource. Organize the connection. Welcome we back to Midday. Helpful. We are done at the we Sagebrush the Theatre this afternoon are. where WCT is getting ready to lift the curtain on Liberation Days. And we're sitting down with Lindsay Angel, who's one of the main actors in this production. It's great to have a few minutes with you. Thank you. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your role. Who do you play and what are they about? I play Emma DeBrine. She is the young woman in the story who has lived through the experience in the Netherlands being occupied and is only just beginning to see what it means to be a woman in Holland after the war and to want to start over. Hair. Hmm, fetching. Me? Very good, sir. Hmm. Hello there, ma'am. We're from the regimental command just over the rise there. We've just stopped by to say hello and introduce ourselves. I'm Captain Miles Cavendish. How do you do? This is Private King, my aide. How do you do? We're just checking in. Making sure everyone's okay. Any medical needs? Got a little food in the house by now, you know. So? Everything's okay? Everything's okay then. Alrighty then. We'll be on our way. Emma! Oh, goodness. The doorbell's sign here. Wie is it? Come up. Gebruik dan je Engelsles. Zeg er iets tegen deze kerels. Yes. Oh, het is jij. It's you. Do you remember me? Uh, private. So it's post-World War II. Uh, the Canadians have come to try to help liberate you or get you back on your feet after the Second World War. That's right. Um, and from the scene that we saw, it looks like there is an attraction between you and a Canadian soldier. Let's talk about it. That's right, yes. Um, I think my character is very unprepared for the idea of being saved or having a hero because the presence of having soldiers in their small town has been a dangerous one and she's very guarded. Uh, but the Canadians, when they came in and liberated these small villages. Uh, they were very healthy and uh, optimistic and they had a warmth and sort of um, an energy that people in those towns hadn't seen in many, many years. So my character is uh, really on that balance beam of trying to remain loyal to who she is while getting swept up in this sort of romance of in encountering a really incredibly interesting mm -hmm. new fresh person. Mm -hmm. How far does the journey go in this play? Because from what I understand, the scene that we see is sort of at the beginning of the play. How far along do we go? Uh, well, you might say it's a sweeping story because it is wartime. So uh, the change that all of the characters go through is profound. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but there is definitely conflict that involves having to revisit the past and what happens when you've become someone new and uh, and you have to figure out a way to move forward as what if it's with your parents or your loved ones or uh, your faith all of these things are really complicated so I would say that there's quite a journey for every character in the story. I understand that you also had to learn some Dutch for this. I did, yes. I had an incredible Dutch consultant, myself and a uh, few other actors as well, worked with Dimfini Dronik. She is a lovely Dutch woman and our playwright is also Dutch, so we've had some great um, sort of support from them and, and we learned phonetically and then we studied the language and the sounds and Hopefully we've mastered some of it. Mm -hmm. I know that we will have the privilege of having some Dutch mm -hmm. audience members, so 
hopefully they feel connected to the language. In listening to the scene, you understand a little bit of it, but not all of it, but you get mm -hmm. the gist of some of the anger that's coming from who I assume is your mother? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Con the convention of language is really played with in this show, and it gives the audience the opportunity to feel s as though they are a party to some of the um, the secrets, but also somewhat isolated, as you would if you were in a village where you didn't speak the language. So I think that that's another level that the audience will get in this production. Mm -hmm. I understand that all of you as a cast have traveled here from Calgary, two huge semis loading up all of this set, which by the way is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So much detail in this set, but you load it up, you moved uh, all of it over here to, from Calgary. How does it change from one city to another? I would say that the space itself is is perfect for this set and Kamloops is really lucky to have such a beautiful theater and uh, we came from Calgary and they have a large civic theater there so um, it's it feels the same in a lot of ways however um, the audience I think will shift slightly because they're BC and not Alberta but the connection to being a Canadian is very specific to this play and I, I think that um, is a common thread that we'll, we will feel from Calgary to Kamloops. Mm -hmm. yeah. As a final question, what do you think is the overall feeling that will resonate with the audience when they take in this play and they go home? What will stick with them? I think, um, I think, oh wow, what would they take? There's, it's quite a rich story and I think um, there's a sense of um, the challenges of having to move forward after something traumatic um, happens to you and and the very human quality we all have to withhold um, and how terrifying it can be to sort of trust in others um, and I think the story kind of shows people who are able to let the light in those little cracks that have happened because of the war actually end up teaching them a lot about who they are Finally, I should ask as well, this isn't your first kick at the CAM with Western Canada Theatre. You were here for Noises Off as well. I was, yes. Yeah. yeah. That was a very different show in some ways, but uh, a wonderful time. And I'm so happy to be back mm -hmm. here working mm -hmm. with Daryl and some great Kamloops actors and crew. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking the time. I know that you're furiously getting ready uh, to put this on for yeah. uh, the next several days. So thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. All yeah. right. Uh, Lindsay Angel, uh, and she will be uh, part of this fantastic production that will be underway here at the Sagebrush Theatre from now through until January 31st. Uh, absolutely. You can go online to camelopslive.ca, grab some tickets. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us. Hi there. We're from the regimental... You speak English? I studied a little. Uh, wonderful. We had hit a rut. Uh, we're just stopping by to say hello and introduce ourselves. Introduce, yes? Yes, introduce. Introduce ourselves. Uh, Captain Cavendish, uh, Private King, and uh, make sure everyone was okay if everything was all right. I will wait. Why? It's no who had cut? Oh, why it's not a hebe? Who had cut? Yeah. Ben je helemaal gek? De hebt van de hosselijke plat. De familie hier naast rond en in schoor. Samen met een varkens. Want mijn kind verhaat van de honger. Ze draagt de schoenen van haar vader. De dood is. En er is niks aan te doen. En jij wij weten of wij iets nodig hebben? Yes, we're all right. All righty then. Uh, we'll be on our way. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? The doorway. Yes. Private. Idiot. Manner. 